This is Weird Renegade Witches Blog. Hit us up when you want some real motherfucking work done. I'm just going to skip through the chase because there's some frequencies going on. But as you already know, that wayward is about that revenge, redemption, and responsibility because we already know art is occultism. Occultism is an art. Um, people keep sending me a little bit of frequencies. I told you there's a lot to talk about. And again, um, the monthly lessons will be ending soon. However, some people have contacted me and reached out. I will schedule for next week um, also and then start it up again. But you already know I do the one-on-one -on -one lessons, which is different from the monthly lessons. And you know, Wayward is about that spell work, of course, because you know about that occultism. However... Y'all, I had somebody call me out. They were basically insinuating that I was pulling a Dr. Umar Johnson, so they needed to put me on blast. <sighs> Apparently, they felt that I was being a fraudulista because they said on one video, I said that I took a journalism class and in my last video, I said in so many words, I went to school for journalism. So they were busting me out to say that I'm a fraud and I'm a liar. So I looked at the picture because I like to know who's fucking addressing me. And I silence them because I guess I'm being rude when I basically go into their, I don't know, their, um, what they call it, their profile and I block their asses because I do block niggas and I don't give a fuck. YouTube has a thing, I guess, not to hurt people's feelings. They call it silencing. So I silenced a bitch. So let me address it. No, let me say this. I had to work with a client and her brother because it was an energy that was going on. It, it's a whole energy. However, I had to get involved in a little bit of a family energy. Um, so her brother reached out to me because he needed to get a hold of the person that I'm working with. And that's a other energy, but I, I'm not going to discuss all that. However, he asked, could his wife be part of the phone call? Because you know how some of you niggas are when you're trying to handle family business, a person who should not be involved, be involved when you're dealing with your family. Some things are just family business that has nothing to do with your mate, but that's nor here nor there at this point because I'm having a cancer moment. Anyway, so anyway, the wife said to me that in so many words, her husband's sister who I work with need to be accountable. And she needs to explain her position with the family and with the brother. And she and, and 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 when she showed up to the occasion, she just showed up and didn't give an explanation. And I said to her, why does she have to give you an explanation for anything? She don't have to say shit. And I said it just like that. And why do you deserve one? And I said to, to this person, a person have the right to be and not to always explain their position. But I can see there's many people in this universal soul who need to be on these IEP meetings and need to have an IEP meeting. If you don't understand what that is, that is an individual education program. So I can see some of you people haven't had an IEP. I mean, I'm sorry, an IEP. Okay, I get it. And some of you later millennials into Gen Z's, because some of your parents had you on that alcohol, had you on them crack, 
heroin, maybe a little bit on that crystal meth, maybe incorporating some of that cocaine and some other shit. Maybe your parents may have may have had a behavioral problem and that shit trickled onto you and your school didn't recommend an IEP program because some of these schools are cheap as fuck now. But some of you people need to be on that IEP program because when you come at me with this fucking bullshit with fire and air language, trying to check me on stuff, trying to call me out, I have to say that you need an IEP. Not not even a special ed, but just an IE, just an IEP because I don't know if you have ADHD, I don't know if you have a behavioral problem, I don't know if you have dissociative disorder, I don't know if you are a mad hatter, I don't know what the fuck. Okay? I don't know if you have paranoia, schizophrenia. I don't know if you have a form of bipolarism. I don't know, okay? So I'm giving you this floor to say maybe you need an IEP. So I'm going to give you this because you have to understand word game. If I say over here, and I've been saying I've never officially Got my master's, bitch. I've taken, I have been taking, when, when I was going to school, I have taken what? Master classes in journalism. I was going to get my degree in it. Didn't I say that? So if over here I'm saying I've taken lessons in it, then over here, I'm being sarcastic and saying, I went, I did not say I obtained. That's why I said some of you people need IEP because you don't under really understand fire and air language and what shit means. I went, but I didn't say I obtained. I'm saying to you, I'm educated enough in it that I can call myself a journalist because I do have some kind of degree in something. Now, you could take it like you want it. You could take it over here. You could take it over there. But that's the bottom line. So stop trying to get on my shit, trying to checkmate me, put the shit in writing, trying to basically expose me because you can't expose her and, and, and expose her because I expose my fucking self. This shit is becoming whack. Y'all whack for that. Everything is not about exposing the motherfucker. Because even if a motherfucker come back to explain to you, you still don't want to believe it. You still want to come back with shit. Just like right now, I'm saying what I'm saying. Don't worry. You're going to come back with something. You're going to come back with this. You're going to come back with that. I don't have time for that. I'm Generation X. We don't got time for that bullshit. You didn't even deserve this. But because I understand some of you guys' background and some of you guys need that IEP meeting, I have to explain it. Because I understand that we're dealing with a special sort of people right now. You guys are the same people who have five, who have 12 genders. So I, I have to speak in a way so you understand and you need some kind of explanation. I'm dealing with a group of people who don't want to use maxi pads and tampons anymore, who, 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 who just want to bleed on a towel and say that you just want to go through this movement of bleeding. Okay. That's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to a group of individuals who believe that I'm talking about gay men who say that they put Vagisil fucking uh, 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 Vagisil in their butts to soothe when they, after they have sex, I don't know, and put a tampon in, in the butthole. That's who I'm dealing with. I'm not being rude. I'm just saying what it is. I, I'm talking about men out here who put Yeast infection medicine in her in, in her rectum for healing. I'm just talking. I'm not bullying, 
This is for educational purposes because I'm an occultist. We have to talk about the world and who we're dealing with and the spell work. So Generation X and Boomers, we have to know who we're talking to. This also includes older Boomers. We have to give accommodations. And we have to be patient with people whose life is about influencing and clout chasing and want to expose. And we just don't want to come to the realization that many of these people need to be under the IEP energy. And because the school system has failed us and some of these people are psychologists, it takes a certain energy to put this out here. I was talking to somebody about Scarlip and I said, you know, she's my new guilty pleasure because sometimes I, I, I get back into my psychology world. Yes, let me make it clear because some of you are on IEP, yes, I went to school. I want to become a psychologist. I want to be a sex therapist. I took different courses. See how you got to explain to people who need to be part of these IEP energies? She's my guilty pleasure because it's a trend and a fad and it's a very dangerous fad now it's a trend and a fad to feature people with schizophrenia. No judgment, but we do have to be careful with that frequency. And what is uprooting more and more because of this so uh, because of social media, which is fire magic, cyber magic, air magic, we are seeing more and more that entertainers have mental illness. And we probably didn't notice it before, but now we notice it now, okay? So they're featuring artists who have schizophrenia, who paints and so on. Most people who are artists do have a form of mental disorder, but we cannot sit out here and play games with these people also. Okay, we don't know what dimension they in. We don't know what they see. We don't know what's going on. And the best art you can ever have is from a person who has mental disorder. Shit, I have mental disorder because I do occultism. Right? We got to keep it real, keep it right. When I... Listen to Scarlet. She's a very interesting specimen. And I'm seeing more and more that I believe, um, and I'm just saying allegedly, I'm not her doctor. I'm not her therapist. I'm not putting any rumors. But her behavior, and I'm going to say alleged, but her behavior presents paranoia schizophrenia. When you sit on her lives she be on there accusing people of shit that is not going on. She has a certain energy of paranoia and anxiety that I'm like, what the fuck? There was one energy where she was in a cafe and she was drinking her tea and she was accusing these women of like shit of sleeping with her man, blah, 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 blah. And her, and she, her eyes will go in a certain manner, her thought process. She, sometimes she gets on her lives and, and she just looking, um, a disheveled. Um, there's energies where she have nails broken off, just disheveled. And I said, that is paranoia, schizophrenia. It is clinical when you read about it, but I'm going to say allegedly, I'm not saying it's what it is. I'm saying the behavior. Okay. So we have to understand we have a whole generation that's fucked up and the new generation that's going to come in is fucked up. And 
even as boomers and generation next and you peep your kids and you like, what the fuck? You have to put them in the corner and kind of see what that energy is. My kids are off the fucking hinges. Okay. I'm a realist. You don't know who in the fuck you, you didn't have fucking babies by. You know, especially Generation X and Boomers, you done sat up and had babies and children by motherfuckers who used to be drug addicts. I'm one of them. And don't get it fucked up, women. Doesn't mean that you may not have been on narcotics, but your baby daddy was. Some of y'all wondering why your babies have autism. Was your baby daddy on that heroin? Then he had to go take that other shit to keep him off that heroin. Kid irrational and shit. Was your baby daddy on that crack? Doing eight balling? child appears to be normal <laughs> then some of them symptoms pop up huh mm. talking about crack babies I have another guilty pleasure, which is Krishan. I don't know what type of games is going on here. I don't know what it is and what it ain't. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what type of bots. I don't know what people are trying to explain to me that it's a hernia. I don't know what people are trying to explain to me is that energy called cud, I believe. Look. I don't know what type of bots. I don't know what type of explanation. That is a Rosemary's baby. And I've heard demon babies that sound just like that. Okay? I'm just saying allegedly. I'm saying there's something up. I don't care what you're writing. I don't care what the explanation is. I don't care what TikTok is talking. When Krishan goes live and you hear the baby crying and people in the on the stream or whatever is trying to explain the way the baby is crying and how the baby sounds and we don't have questions. And we don't even try to understand the deformity. And many of us would say, well, it's none of our business. That's her child. No, it is our business because she put it out there. That's not a real baby cry. I don't care if, if the child has a disability. That's not a real baby crying. That's something else. I don't care what anybody's saying. I'm sorry, I'm an occultist. I cannot be common. You, if I need an IEP, then I need an IEP, an, 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 an IEP. But on this one, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus that I plead the blood over that child, I, I, I have to say that in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, she went and brought that child to go get baptized in the name of Jesus of the blood who needs communion and the blood and the blood and the blood and the blood on that child in the name. I had to go back to Bethel AME African Methodist Church in the name of Jesus. That's how real this is. 
Don't play around. Don't play around with Lucifer and Satan. I have to go back for a minute and be common. Don't play around with them chromosomes. And we don't know what shit is. And you people out here trying to explain something. You can't explain that. You cannot explain when she was in the hospital and she holding this baby and she was talking to the baby. You like, oh, but the weird thing, like I said, it was that man sitting there. I said, that's a weird energy. Then the next thing you know, we seeing her up and out the hospital and she's wearing her, her belly out. No flab, no nothing. Boobs, everything. You cannot keep showing shit on social media and then sit up and say it's bullying when people are talking about it. You can't do that. It contradicts each other. And I have the right to my First Amendment rights to speak on something. Don't put your shit out there. How can you be mad at Blueface when you put your own shit out there? There's weird shit going on in this situation and it's very uncomfortable. Because it's being put out in the universal soul and you and it's being and, and people's intelligence are being played with who have had children or who or who or who who have had children with certain disabilities or, you know, certain chromosomes and this and that. There's people on here trying to be doctors and diagnose the energies of what's going on. And she is a young woman. Then you have allegedly Kiki Palmer trying to talk to her. It's like, what's the setup? Nobody. Th these young girls have nobody to mentor them. No, no elders. Nobody. We don't know who this Krishan person is either. Because we've seen too many variations of her. Like I said, I've seen a total of three. How many have you seen? <sighs> Talking about drugs, Pete Davidson. So we can confirm allegedly that he was Kim Kardashian's dope boy, dope boy, dope man, especially when they was insinuating their, their photo ops when she would have Coke cans in front of her with a straw. They talked about Kim Kardashian and her alleged energies. Now they're up here saying that friends are concerned according to reports of his death. So you already know the fucking what's up with that. You know who else that they was throwing out their death? Um, was it Levert? Is it Levert from uh, the OJs? And they were talking about him being dead allegedly. And then did you see that live of them uh, talking about Trina being dead? Uh, Tony Braxton's sister, Trina. What's going on out in this universal soul, right? We just talking urban voodooism, right? Cyber energies, cyber work, cyber magic. <laughs> Y'all better start using mercury. I'm going to leave it right there in this cyber frequency. Anyway. Allegedly. Apparently... I'm learning if you talk about Cardi B, you will be Tasha Cade. One of my people's spiritual constituents said something very interesting to me. And because we were talking about how the video that I put up yesterday kept buffering, buffering, buffering. 
So I tried a couple of things and removed a couple of things and that's what I thought. The person said to me, he was really talking about Krishan, but I think it's Cardi B. He said, maybe Krishan is a protected class. But when he said protected class, I said, well, what, what do you mean by that? He said, well, you know, they be protected by the entertainment world and protected by different people and protected by YouTube, protected by this person and that person. And when a person speaks, they, they end up fucking with them and doing this and doing that. Okay, so practical magic. But I thought about it. I read my comment and I seen the motherfucker who said that Cardi B ghosts need to come give me a visit. I'm paraphrasing. And I said, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Am I supposed to be afraid of the energies that's haunting her? That he comes to me, let them come because I'm going to sit down and have a drink with them and have a conversation because I want to know the gossip. So who's ever fucking with her, come see me because I want to know the what's up. Give me the inside. That's the what's up. That's, that's an occultist. I'm not afraid of demons, ghosts, whatever. I love talking to them. What's up? So if you want to send this shit to me, do so. But I peeped it. She's the, she is the protected class. You can't say shit about her. Or if her name shows up or whatever that they want to call it, your shit gets fucked with. What is that? What, why is she a protected class? Can somebody please explain it to me? I believe that is absolutely what's going on. So let's put it this way. Some of these entertainers are protected classes. They are protected. You can't say nothing. You can't have them in your title without it being a question or who's the person talking about it. Then it's going to be a question. So yes, they are a protected class, right? And what I found very interesting, Cardi B is considered a white latina yes she is because when you look at her parents they don't look so afro okay but the thing that really got but but the thing the energy that really gets to me is they don't even do that for beyonce they don't do it for michael jackson they don't do it for people i'm just saying for black people but why for her I'm just saying, maybe I'm doing too much, but I don't think so. Because I tested it. I wanted to see, I kept tweaking the title. If you notice, I kept tweaking the title. I was like, oh, so there's something to it. That was my spiritual constituent who is a Sag. They be seeing what's low. So they have to speak to the second house to let us know so we can investigate the fucks. Also, the spiritual constituent who's the, who's the Sag said he was doing some urban voodooism and he was listening to gang star guru. And he asked me, what do you think about Guru? And I was like, uh, 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 uh. But I said, what is this Sag saying to me? Let me go check out Guru. Let me go check out Gangstar. So I went and listened Gangstar, Gangstar, Guru. And I said, oh, they killed him, allegedly. This man had too much spirit in him. I know damn well he was probably under Dr. York and all that shit, Islam. But within him, he had a natural spirit. It really wasn't orchestrated. It was a natural frequency. You couldn't have anything like that. That's too real and right. And it was one of his songs, he said something very interesting. 
just 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 this little blurb and this goes to show that we are so under ritual that we don't know what spirit is he says spirituality supports reality guru in his song so we already know guru probably connected islam maybe five percent is all of this get it got it however but just that piece wherever that came from wherever that came from it might have came from a brother in prison who wrote it but regardless that's some real motherfucking shit spirituality supports reality Reality does not support spirituality, bitch. So yes, guru of GameStar is a form of urban voodooism. You guys want to be under ritual, under the CIA effect, you go ahead. But nobody can ever take your spirit away. But they can fuck with your rituals. I was thinking about something. I'm having a cancer moment. So when I have these moments, just hear me out. Everybody knows and every and, and, and I've been sent these alleged immigrants coming in from plane, trains, and automobiles. And they're coming in, coming in, coming in. Some of these immigrants, I believe, came in during the, the whoop while, while we were down, right? But hear me out on this. Did you ever think about America is built built up from third world energy. Technically, Africans are third world. Haiti is third world. Jamaica is third world. Irish, yeah, they're third world. Slavics are third world. Asians are third world. They're not Americans, but all those people came into America, even the English, Dutch, whatsoever's, Germans, came into America, Italians. As immigrants. So, the America, so then what happened to the original American people? Where did they go? We understand that they shipped them off here and there, but on real, real, let's just put that on the shelf. If there was an overflow and over an over energy of immigrants coming into America that overflowed America, then what happened to the original Americans for real, for real? And let's be a, a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. And we're just talking urban voodooism, right? Conspiracy theory, right? The bewitchery, right? How you know those FEMA camps are not really for us Americans? And they put our asses in the FEMA camps and they replenish the universal soul with the new people. Because if there were original people here, which were the American people, we're going to call them, say, the American Indians, right? Or the American people who were melanated copper, whatever you want to call it, scarlet, da 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 da. But then you have mass graves of buried people. They tell us those are slaves, but how do you know? How do you know those aren't the original American people that were buried? From New York, uh, uh, around the world, to San Francisco, to Los Angeles, to Louisiana, to Texas, Michigan, whatever, Canada. 
So when we have these mass graves that they just all of a sudden find and then tell you who they were, how do you know those wasn't the original bones of the original people? And they just neutralize them to create a new society. I'm just talking conspiracy theory. I'm just a crazy cancer who needs to be on an IEP, right? We just talking, right? This hypothetical. So all they're doing is a reset of what they've been doing through centuries, right? There was a conversation of the original Jewish people or Hebrews, as we may call them, that they were of copper. And it is proven in the word that describes them. But are Germans, Russians, Polish, Ukrainians masquerading as Jewish people? And the originals were wiped out? And so we have a problematic energy and of course in Israel and Turkey and stuff like that where the original people or the descendants of the original people are trying to take their energies back, but you get outside people who don't know better, who will say, oh, they're just being thugs. Those are thugs over there doing that to Israel and Turkey. They're going to mess it all up. When we see all those people in Italy, what is that really about those supposed of immigrants? Are those the descendants of Italy? And those people who are currently there, which includes the Vatican, are hybrids and masquerading? Just like the Indians are maybe masquerading and and hybrids because it doesn't make sense for the original people to have to apply and go through paperwork and it's kind of like what i was saying that technically if you claim yourself as indian then you don't have to go through all that reparation shit you can claim your shit and you heard what they're saying is that, especially from this, this alleged person named William Gil what's his name, Gillen, he's supposed to be a laboratory person who does, who researches and he says DNA testing is fake. It doesn't test like for ethnicity or whatever. It can connect you, but it's really for entertainment purposes. Have you guys been seeing that? And then he says, uh, G, was it gene genealogy versus ideology theory? So when we had these people testing for our DNA lying, saying that we don't have Indian blood in us, and you had Chris Rock in Shockment, so Chris Rock was lied to, allegedly. With hit, with, so that means you just lied to Chris Rock for entertainment purposes, that this man may come from a bloodline that can claim hella shit, especially in New York, right? We, we're just talking, you know, I'm just crazy as fuck. I'm just talking hypothetically, like, like, what do you guys think? As we really look at what's going on, this is nothing new. America... Why are we going crazy when America has always been built with energies of third world? And all they're doing is resetting, doing the same thing. This means this is how 
our ancestors got here, whoever they are. And then maybe some of our ancestors were murdered. We talking about like Lake Lanier and these reservoirs and you have, what is it, that energy? What is it in Alabama? Is it Alabama with the devils, devil some with the peaches and all of that? How do we know those wasn't Indians? The, the, as we call black Indians and they just killed them. Like literally they drowned people out alive. They buried people alive to get rid of them and to take over land. Isn't that what's happening now? Floods and people being flooded out and take over and fires and I'm just asking questions. Did you hear that shit? About Queen Elizabeth ghosts being seen? But then people are up here talking about, which is books talking about that another masquerading and takeover was the UK and that the actual Queen Elizabeth is black. That all of those, those people and Renaissance people that they, the queens, the kings and queens and gestures and all of that were all black. And there's a book that backs it up and, and gives, it gives the name and talks about how they were replaced. So when we keep talking about in Buckingham that they stole the jewels and the gold, maybe because it belonged to the actual people who rhymed during the time and this other energy came in and took over. I'm just talking hypothetically. Did y'all hear about that? That it shows all of the kings and queens, which include Queen Elizabeth, then they're alleging that it was a takeover. Have y'all been hearing about the water guy who could create, I think his name is Moses West. He, he was a military man and he could change air into water and make it into clean water. Have you heard about him? We have to keep him safe because you know they'll get rid of him real quick in the name of Jesus. We got to play, plead the name, right? You got to call it out and go back into that, right? You, you got to go back into your Freemasonry to, for protection, right? Mm -hmm. So apparently this brother... And I was like, whoa, 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 is, or is he? Because I don't know. Knows how to use the, the natural elements in the universal soul to make water. Meanwhile, over here, they're talking about climate control. So you telling me in the universal soul, all we have to do is what? And you're trying to nuke everybody in the name? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. So that goes to show water and air goes hand in hand. If we know how to work together and not be against each other. That means that water and air I hate to tell you, is a force against earth and fire. Because sometimes because sometimes earth can facilitate fire. Hmm. Is that above your pay grade? What's going on in India? Apparently, in some parts of India, there's a lockdown because there's something going on there, a virus called NEPA, N-E-P-A. And apparently what they're saying is allegedly that you could get it from bats. In India. And why are they saying that India has always been an op 
to the United States. Hmm. Did you know there were cloning laws in the United States? And Bill Clinton was talking about it. Did you hear about this woman who was accusing Mike Tyson of rape again and, found, and to find out it was allegedly a clone? Is that what happened with Mystical? Allegedly. Did y'all hear the shit with Diana Ross, her interview? Is Diana Ross over overhyped? Is there some is there some revenge and redemption? Should Mary Wilson come back with Florence with, with Florence Ballard? Have you heard this interview? It's like she's fucked up. Well, she's in her old age now, but what? Hmm. That's a summoning. Did you hear about the story about uh, Mary Wilson messing with Tom Jones and Tom Jones' wife come popping up on them? I knew his ass was liking black women. My grandmother used to like that Tom Jones. Mm -hmm. But uh, what, kind of, what, what type of summoning and spell work can one do for revenge and redemption for Mary Wilson and Florence Ballard. Just having a conversation. Did you hear the energies that's been rolling around on social media in Saudi Arabia? That's none of our business, but I get it an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, because this young man was driving, allegedly driving recklessly and killed a person. And they say, and I don't know if this is supposed to be his cousin. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but people having issues because in their country, be due to the eye for an eye, um, the person can choose to forgive or death or give, I guess, their the other person have to give their their wealth and ask for humbleness and apology. And I'm like, well. All that shit is overboard, okay? Is either you believe an eye for an eye or you forgive. It's either or. There's no in-between. Then the main thing I started focusing on when I heard the story was, where in the fuck are they getting their wealth from? All that fucking gold and money. And people were tripping because... Um, the, the person who caused the accident, allegedly they chopped his neck off and with wayward believing in revenge and redemption, I get it because it was a reckless act. If it was an accident, like shit happens, hmm. But if a person is reckless, that's a different source. And people say, you're a stronger person if you can forgive. Fuck no. I am not going to take that piece of anger and put it in a fat roll for forgiveness. For it just to uproot itself later on in my fucking subconscious. Fuck no. I'm mad now. Fuck it. Y'all y'all seeing this interesting energy of housing takeover? How people just come and buying up properties and stuff, and you may have bought a condo and they can buy the the I guess buy the building, kick you out. What is this shit? What is happening? A spiritual constituents had to go over some energies with me in reference to we were talking about rental insurance, especially in the state of California. Y'all better know your rights out here because they getting away with a lot of shit. I see that over there in that um, Staten Island again. They're saying they want them immigrants to leave. Yeah, all, they, all they're going to do is trade them and put them in New York. 
And then trade the people in New York, meaning uh, trade the people over there in Queens or wherever else and over there. That's all they doing. Did y'all hear that? This nasty ass story that's been rolling around of, 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 of grade school kids, maybe junior high. I was listening to this mother. She said she walked up to this white woman because her son was involved in, in a sexual assault. So basically what happened was is that her son was being bullied and they hemmed up her son, three boys, one white, one mixed race, and the other one, I guess, a full black boy. They hemmed him up, pulled his pants down, and said that they were going to rape him like a thug. And then the white boy apparently start fingering the boy in the in the in his butt. And I don't know what happened, but I, I think a sexual assault happened. And apparently they're on a sports team. So the it sound like the black mother had basically approached the white mother because the, the white the black mother basically filed charges and so on. And of course, as a as a white woman, how how they act kind of aloof and shit and trying not to put it on their son and was like oh. and my question is where did they learn that from what the fuck and what what somebody forwarded over to me that Sukihana regrets I guess stating she um will eat a man's ass yeah you are are you tired of looking dirty you tired of that spell work being on you with that feces magic because you young girls out here looking like filth misers because you guys are looking like fucking feces and, and hot sauce together because y'all out here looking nasty just like that sexy red look very interesting very dark in frequency Hmm? You tired of looking worn out? You tired of, of, of pulling them frequencies from them buttholes? No femininity, no character, no nothing. Y'all looking old as fuck. Looking nasty. That's a, that's a, that's an entity. That's a deity. How much ass looking can you do? Y'all up here getting Dubai like a motherfucker. Not only that, Sukihana should be embarrassed for sucking for sucking dick and then vomiting. The fuck? That's spell work. And you don't think that's going to mount? Have y'all been seeing this thing going around social media with Khalees clowning on Nas saying that he let the house go in foreclosure? I need more details. I need to understand, isn't Nas a Virgo? Why he keep at, at that thing keyless like that? What the fuck does she do? She's a Leo. You see some Maury Povic shit is going on. So now we have another person, Carrie Washington, talking about she didn't know her daddy wasn't her daddy. So first we had Kirk Franklin. Now we have Carrie Washington cutting up doing the same thing, right? Who gives a fuck? We not, I don't want to hear shit from no dang millennials and Gen Z's all in their feelings. If a black woman don't want to tell their kid where in the fuck their daddy is and not, so what? If that man stepped in to be her father, so what? Get the fuck over it. And it sound like Carrie, it sound like Carrie Washington is lying. Okay? That's what it sounds like, as well as Kirk Franklin. We're not gonna sit up here, keep disrespecting black women, making us look like that we are so irresponsible, okay? What it is, what it ain't, what it ain't, what it is. My grandmother said it well, okay? With a lot of shit dealing with these daddies. So the fuck what at this point? Did the man take care of her well? Cool. Cool. Shit, do you know? Shit, that's when I was talking about my Aunt Julia. Do you think my great-grandmother didn't know who in the hell her daddy is? And was? Yes, she knew. 
She just didn't want to be involved. Just like my mother told my brother, pick one, choose one. She knew which one. But she knew that other one wasn't right. My kids yell at me about the who I who I chose. I was like, well, goddamn. My kid's father was lied to about his father. My shit, my kid's father didn't even know he was adopted until he was 13. He, he didn't find out till his daddy died. His adoptive father died. That, that wasn't his real father. They look alike. I don't know. A little suspicious, though. Shit, I didn't want my father to be my father. I told my father. I said, I don't think you are my father. Then he clowned me, went off on me. And said that I better not ever say that again in life. I told my brothers. I said I don't think my father is my father. My brothers told me to cut it out. They said that's your dad. So I'm not going to sit up and judge an entertainment story. Coming from some actors. Or individuals talking about. They're finding out through DNA who in the fuck is what and who in the fuck. Who gives a fuck? Y'all are too busy with this accountability shit. Get the fuck over it already. Y'all over here so concerned. And, oh, your mama did this. Your daddy did. Who gives a fuck? That's why we're in this predicament now. In DNA for entertainment purposes. Right? It's all an act. So this is another form of more povic. I've been seeing some interesting stuff with that Jenny Mai, uh, Tamar, and what's her name? Uh, that uh, was it Tamari, whatever. Tamara. Jenny Mai is a Capricorn, Tamar Pisces, Tamara is a Cancer, but Tamara is an early Cancer, so she's kind of, they sometimes they say early Cancers are a little weaker. I'm suspicious of Lonnie, Love, and Adrian, because that's a Cancer and Scorpio together. I think they throw in spell work. I think something is suspicious. And... I seen the energies of when K. Michelle, I guess, got on Twitter and called Lonnie Love a ham hock neck. I noticed K. Michelle still haven't been right ever since. Lonnie Love is, is a later cancer. And I'm just to the conclusion that I think there's some spell work being done. There's some funny business. And I believe Adrian is part of it. I'm not shocked about Jenny Mai. I knew something was going to pop off with that and the behaviors of when I, when I seen them first together and he was too absorbed in her life. And they were saying that, uh, I was seeing something in the Asian culture that the parents are around a lot and, you know, mm, you know, some black men not used to that, especially when Jeannie Mai was kind of ragging on his people when they was making that good food, I think for Thanksgiving. But I think it's some spell work or something going on because the way how those, how all three of them ladies been put down. And then what was that other one that was on there? That was the revolutionist and she's been interesting too. Hmm. Have you seen that energy with Anthony Bodine and people say no wonder they killed him allegedly because he said Dick Cheney was eating children for lunch? What y'all think allegedly? Have you been seeing that 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 buffoonery with Kamala Harris? First she had to barbecue for niggas and then she and then she was giving, I think, some Nikes, and then now she eating collard greens. Y'all keep it up with this woman. Did you see that interesting frequency with Ben Affleck and I Spice? They got him fucked up. People were saying how they peep. That was his name, Julius, uh, Solange's son, never takes pics with her. It's never a loving experience. 
So I was like, hmm, but I seen a very loving frequency with Beyonce and him. And I'm just saying, I don't know what it is and I don't know what it ain't. But could Julius really be Beyonce's child? Because she seemed to have a lot of love for him more than Solange. Solange acts like the auntie. And of course, they'll say she's bipolar and all that. But no, Solange is a cancer. Okay. So what do you think? But a lot of you guys will say, but uh-uh, in the video, her belly. But look, look. I'm just saying, I'm looking at the position. I'm looking at how all of a sudden now they then took custody of them or da, 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 this is what's going on. And I'm just asking questions. Like, could that really be Beyonce's son? Cause she loves him very dearly. I'm just asking questions, allegedly. None of my business, but they put it on social media. People letting Shawnee O'Neal and the other last name she is with the pastor man have it. They think they saying that she's a pimp and panderer. They think they 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 saying she as a pastor's wife. Why in the hell is she still involved with basketball wives? Well, she needs a new cast, so she had to become a pastor's wife. Don't you understand church is the best place to get hoes? Because bitches be all desperate, all in their feelings, all in their trauma, allegedly. And they're saying her, her behavior is very rude. And they're saying that she's bad for the community. And then they said ever since uh, basketball wives allegedly been created that black women have been on the downfall. And she's and she's uh should shut the whole energy down, but she can because she have some new recruits allegedly. We just talking, we just having fun, right? You know, I need an IEP. Did we forget about that Puff Daddy had a restaurant called Justin's? Did we forget about that? Zena LaVey, I'm, 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 I, I believe that Taylor Swift is her fucking daughter or some kind of descendant. They probably used the DNA and created her, right? Allegedly. You heard that Busy Bone is in the hospital. Do you think he was poisoned, allegedly? Did you hear about Dr. Heavenly getting fired from Fox Soul because she told the truth to not to date or be involved with a man who's broke back mountain if he can't pay them fucking bills and your mortgage? She's absolutely right, but you know, they had to get rid of her. Lil Mama still, I guess, having the fallout. So they, so for real, she's alleging that Jay-Z and them have blacklisted her. It Was it that fucking serious? People around here are tripping that there's this report on Channel 7 News from back in the day that really said that allegedly Hillary Clinton is no longer in this frequency and that she is just a AI from Palo Alto created in a garage. You see that Biden, his AI ass was over there in San Francisco at a conference and whatever he was doing there, because again, San Francisco is the new AI sanctuary. They don't have those immigrants over there, even though San Francisco is a sanctuary city. San, San Francisco is on some cap shit because now store owners or whosoever's have to clean their own fucking sidewalk where you have taxpayers and the tax money is supposed to clean the sidewalks. And if they don't clean their sidewalks themselves and get rid of the oil stains and garbage and so on in front of their business, they would get a thousand dollar fine. So that's a very interesting frequency because that's a very Asian culture, very third world type of energy. How dare you go take taxes from the tax? taxpayers and you supposed to have DPW come out and clean and you supposed to have hired city workers to clean the streets but you probably got rid of all of those people because those people were coming from you know the jails and the hood and so on so you got rid of them and now you want them to be accountable and responsible for their own shit and come out of pocket and pay for the streets to be clean of San Francisco after you done fucked up what kind of shit is that 
That's where we're going, right? Urban voodooism, right? You don't think it's urban voodooism that now that we look at Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and we were so angry with Erica Mina and we see in the way Spice is going off and she went off on Carly Red, are we not tripping a lot of them people who are on Love and Hip Hop's whatever or third world motherfuckers coming from the islands and more? And why is it our American business to even be involved in that third world energy? Because we don't know what the fuck is really going on. But as they sat up and was fucking around with Erica Mina, which Erica Mina had a great point because they had a round table to talk about racism, but without the person who was accused. So she, so the Scorpio made a great point, but I have to ride with Erica for a moment because it's something that I've found very interesting. And this is the old recycled racism. You don't think it's very interesting that with Spice being a dark skinned woman that they keep having her go the fuck off on everybody. Do, do you, are you not tripping that she's a volatile person? Do you know that is, a, that is discriminatory and that's a race issue? Because they're molding her as 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 the big bat the big the big bad black woman and she's dark skinned like they did to oh what's her name is it oh is her name O G that was on Basketball Wives that's racism that's 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 contradictory that is discriminatory did y'all not peep that hmm anyway. This is Weird Renegade Witches Blog. Hit is up when you want some real motherfucking work done.